Yo, what's up, guys? Hopping in, gonna play some Red Painter today. Hopping in on a Friday afternoon, Friday night. Uh, I was gonna take a bath and get ready for the night and get ready for some margaritas, but I said, let me crack a beer real quick, hop in, see what's up, poke my head in, say hi. I like to say hi every now and then, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna play. Try this, good hand. Play a bridge first if he does. See you have a force of love. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop, trust me. Um bring in Red Blast. Bring in um I'll bring in uh let me see here. So he can't handle a uh bridge here. I think I'm going to cut excuse me, um probably a lower spell here. Try this. I don't know what he's on yet. I'm not going to go to four fury unless I know he's huge, like big creatures, or whatever. So, No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. I'm going to keep this hand. Sand's good. Lands are good. Force of Vigor probably in hand. Um,
you have here, I wonder? He's going to start crying because I draw well, right? Oh, nice draws. Watch. He'll say something to me. Waiting on you, buddy. I'm going to hit him in his upkeep. I'm going to get around Force of Vigor here. See so if he gets a color. I'll do this in the upkeep. Upkeep, I'm gonna do this. Oh, what do you got, buddy? This is fucking, ki this is killing me. Killing me. Killing me. Killing me. I guess every edge counts. All the little game and shit counts, okay? And then what? I got to do something here? Crop rotation? Okay. A wasteland? Sure. Got it.
the games. I love it. I'm not going to change. I'll never stop. It'll never happen. Hold on one second. See what he's saying about me. I was in the play, be nuts. Walk. Okay. Oh my fucking god. See, he has a wasteland. That's okay. Sure. No, uh, that's good. I know he doesn't have removal. Figures. Oh my fucking god! And I have blast up. <laughs> Holy shit! Cheers, bro. All right, here we go. Delver boy, bringing fury. Red blast, and I'll cut some petals. <clears throat> Let's try this. I have to try this. Any mountain's really good here. Good gives me a, gives me a chance. Meltdown sucks. I have to say. Not shuffle.
Um, I'll play this. <clears throat> I mean, if he has Meltdown, he gets me. But if he has a Wasteland, it gets me too. So I guess it's just fine. Fury's a card as well. There's a Wasteland. Okay. Um, it's my basic. That's excellent. I have to save this Pyroblast for uh, the Fury. Let's see if he plays it too. Basic. Um, I don't want to give the guy bait to remove shit, so I know he has something. Um, I'll just start with a welder here. Play around days. I was going to play my tomb, but I'd rather have him bolt the welder here. Let's see how that goes. So, All right, so no bolt there. Okay. I'm going to have six here. Let's see if he plays. It's kind of weird because I could have pitched the Fury to Engineer and held up Blast. So I could have held the Welder there. But I might want to just be proactive. I might want to trade here. I'll let it go. That's a good trade, though, for me. I thought about that. It's probably a good trade. Wow, Wasteland's fine. Is that going ham on Wastelands and shit? That's fine. Another Fury. Um... I can weld it back out for um, for land here if he does choose to remove it. I gotta play around surgical a little bit too. So so far he's not really doing much in the yard. I can pay for days too if I get crazy. Trigger. A lot of guys might fury there. Put another land in the graveyard. So he has just sorcery land here. Um, so if he does go to bolt or something, he has to take care of welder first. Um, trops, so they're playing trops, okay. So if he does bounce my painter, a murky boy, you got it. I can go for an engineer here and just try to get an, a, a bridge. Um, oh my god. Sure. This is a surgical. You <laughs> jeez. Yo. Hey, right. see that guys? A little dipsy do. I could have got engineer and got a uh, bridge too. Ooh, another one. Ah, ain't that drawing well, baby? Ah, I'll keep this too. Could be lights out for a lot of guys, but see if he has a wasteland. Any lands good, a basic is excellent. Kind of deck this is first. Reanimator. So if he just goes for a faithless loot here, it's really good for me. Black source. God sees I can get around too. Troll. Okay, so you take my engineer. And you can reanimate it, I guess. Which takes... So it's a reanimate deck. So bridge is very good here. Takes a pyroblast, okay. You gonna reanimate it? 
So he has force of will, psych, dark ritual, and then what? What do you have? A troll, okay. Swamp. Okay. So what do you have? A reanimate and then what? And then a thought seize? I have double engineer. I have a I have a bridge coming in hot, like it's gonna happen. Unless you just have force of will, which I don't think you do. I don't think you can beat this card, right? I can weld this out to get my, uh, oh, I would rip. <sighs> so I could have welded out, <clears throat> if I didn't draw a land there, excuse me, I can keep swapping, even though it's kind of risky, but I have two, I have two, well, I have two goblins out, so it's really good. I think it's worth a ley line of the void here. Um, and I'll cut the Furies here. It's like mono black. And I I want to trim goblins because of all the ley line bullshit, but um, I have 60 cards here. I'll trim my engineer for an abrade. That's fine. See, it's too good to mull. See how hard he is, reanimator. You take my engineer here, it looks like. I might just start with a saga here. We'll see. I don't know yet. Um, maybe I should have mulled the ley line. I don't know how hard this guy is. He's playing Dark Rituals, which I think is just... Um, I think I got to start here. Try to get a Soul Guy Lantern out soon or whatever it is. Even a Grindstone. Now you can play you can play the um Delphi Voidwalker here. Okay, so here's a troll. I'll make um, creatures here. He didn't lose life off that, which is kind of weird. Kind of priced into a few things here. I don't know if I'd love the way I play this.
Um, that's six, and then I go to five. And then if he has a bow master, it's really good. Um, I'm just wondering if I should play this tomb out. It's gonna hurt me. I go to eight, and then I go to. I can't tap him twice, so that's a problem. Goes to one here. What's this card? Is this a combo? Am I getting bitched out of this game? Oh my god. Alright, I'll give you a little bit of credit. Game. Okay. I haven't seen this combo in a bit. That was a good game, though. He had one card left. Um, so, Pithy Needle. I'm wondering if I should bring in um, Thorn of Amethyst for him. I don't think it's worth it, though. Let's try it. Uh, do I just get rid of a braid? I think I get rid of a uh, pyroblast. He's gonna thought sees me coming up here. <laughs> I'll get rid of a braid. And eventually get a painter out. Bitch, hold on one second. Fucking crazy motherfucker. So you have to take Pyroblast here. <laughs> Took my Painter, which is the best card to take. I just draw a land. If he has a kill spell for Welder. Okay. I need a Tomb and I win. Tomb, please. Oh. I still get a bridge here, which I don't want to do.
Sure. That's a combo, right? I just I just lose to that. Alright, geez. Alright. <laughs> Good one. Let's keep going. I don't think I can do much there, right? Is that a cheese combo? I can't, I can't even give the kid any. I mean, I give him credit because I, when I got, listen, I'm gonna tell you, if a guy's playing a deck that like kind of jives with his with his vibe, you know what I mean? It's cool. Like I can tell, like it's he's pretty good play with it. Um, but as far as that combo goes, I haven't seen it. I don't know. It's probably been at least a, at least a year. Anyway, so would I keep a one lander with like a turbo weld? I could have like. Done some stuff there. I mean, my first hand had lightning bolt in it and all types of shit, so I can't blame myself really. I could have got a little more greedy with like welding in like a lotus pedal, getting engineer, maybe getting a dragon engine, trying to draw it just didn't it just didn't pan out, so it happens. This guy's on painter. Or maybe he was. See, usually red white, I don't know a variation yet, so. Who? <laughs> uh he has good, we'll try it. Assume he's on painter, so. Being on the play, I think, really matters here, but we'll see. I have a pretty good hand. Can't say I don't. I have a pretty good hand. Um, should play around certain cards. I don't know exactly what's going on. But... <sighs> That's a good draw. Can immediately get a grindstone on play. Sylvan Library, I like that card. He gives a fury. I was close. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I didn't think about that quick enough. Jesus Christ. Love the win next turn. He doesn't have Fury.
<sighs> Problem is, I only have that thing in the graveyard. It's gonna be a weird game. So is this not painter? What do you do? Cars that blast on? Sure. I think it's just cream white. Crop rotation in the mix here. Um, might want to get me to commit so I can get the painter off the board. It goes to remove it. You know, I can weld in grindstone. He knows how it works. Um, there's all different types of ways to do this. So I have crop rotation on my mind. I have swords. I have like a green sun he's thinking about maybe. Um, he's thinking about my mana. He's looking at my mana sources. He knows what I'm up to. It's not, it's not like, you know, if I swap out Painter here, it gets me in a big problem. So I have to actually swap out Fernacci here. Um, so... Do I do this main phase and step? However, it works. Uh, the scavenging ooze. Okay. Try to get around this here. Well, if he just has a removal spell. And you have a sword, so two cards. Oh, an ending? Which I'm not sure if that's... And then you have the swords too, or how does this work? You have two cards left. You need something? Of attack in there, but trying to be a little cute. <clears throat> sure. Draws. Let's see what I can rip here.
this card do? Get lost. Oh, that card's good. One of these? Target creature you can. What's Explorer do? What's this card do now? I don't even know. What does Explorer do? What is this? I have to read it. Sorry, guys. I apologize. I've never dealt with this. You get like reveals cards. Let me, let me do this thing. Is that the way that works? I, I don't even know. I've never dealt with this before. <laughs> Target creature explores. Put this reveal card into your graveyard, yes. Explore again. He's a fifth, okay. Tag my grindstone. Here, walk here and triple block or double block, whatever. Is that okay?
So it's he. I I think uh, a lot of guys like Magus. Like right away, I'm like, oh, Magus to the moon. I uh, but I don't know if that's the type of game I want to play. This guy is very well versed in his deck. I know he's pretty pretty savvy with it, so I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna play that game. I will bring in a Fury. I'll bring in a Pithy Needle, and I'll bring in a Braid, and I'll leave Magus out of this. Um, I'll trim on a Red Blast or two. I like. I already added red cards, right? I added an Braid and a Fury, um, and I could trim on a Petal here. I could bring in a Magus. See if I can find some room. I'll bring in. I'll cut two Pyroblasts in a Lotus Petal for two Magus to the Moon. See what that brings me. He'll play around Fury, so I still think Fury's really good. So uh, I did bring in Pithy Needle. Uh, I have two Magus. I like that. Simeon Spirit Guide's fun. Um, <clears throat> Pyroblast can trick. Like, <clears throat> get out of one here. You can also trim trim with a Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern is pretty effective here. Let me grab a Brewski. Hold on. All right. Um. Thinking here. I'm trying to fit another Magus in. But I don't want to go too heavy on it. You know what I mean? Let's cut one Pyroblast for a Magus. Let's do this. I'll leave it one Pyroblast. Lucky Pyroblast. Hand is so risky, dude. I'm gonna try it. He's going to six. I'll try it. This is this is like YOLO. Like this card can't be a fucking dragon engine. I can't maul this. You just can't maul a hand like this. It's so risky though. Basic mountain is exactly what I need. I mean, Dragon Engine's even my target with Engineer. <laughs> it's so fucking whacked. I can get Braze Apprentice, though. It's really good, so. Let's see what's up. Four cards. Mean something for one. I kind of have to watch out for Grist. That's why I want to kill this. But. Um. I have to just kill this thing, right? I have to kill this thing. He has a collector roof, he has me. I just, a grist on the board would just kill me. A grist. So I'm, I'm worried about that. Okay, wasted. Last on one. Collector roof here. I knew he had it. Uh, Fury stole a card. Oh, it's so good. That's, I knew that was going to happen, so 
It's either one or the other. Either he plays a good three drop or I get card to move. So. Swords, sure. Coming in. Get a land drop in a wasteland. That's good. Well, we need to him. See how these guys play like that? He'll sandbag them for us for a little bit. Uh, he's got two cards left. And that on one, he can put counters on it now. Either way, he's got me fucked. Alright, I'm gonna go through my thoughts before I make a wrong decision here. Um. <laughs> uh, so if I jam a Blood Moon and he has a crop rotation, he kills me anyway. It's kind of a it's kind of a, like a waste of a card. I don't think I play Blood Moon here. Um, what I do think I do is playing Snaring Bridge, to be honest with you, to start. Or I could play Painter. Probably Painter here. And he puts counters on this thing, right? But Painter really is tough. Blood Moon is tough to. Uh, not this turn, anyway. Um, I think if I land a bridge, I'm in good shape. At least not die. So. Does he have legless legacies leg up or whatever it is? Quick reflexes. That'll get a card out of him that's close to one card. Or if he has a crop rotation for Sajiri Step or whatever, pretty good too. Does that happen? That's good. Um and drop. Let me just play bridge intuitively. <clears throat> So this will get my ensnaring bridge artifact count up and he should have put a counter on that maybe I'm not sure why but I don't know okay, two cards Let's see if I can't draw a land or something that's fine Should I go for a magus here he'll float a red though No float of white. I 
Let me get that. Let me get the swords out. The swords will come out now. There's the swords. And let's see what he has for a card. Now he's down on one card. Let's see if I can't draw a fucking tomb, please, or a city. Now you should put charge counters on this end step, right? Or he's got this on one so he can blow he can blow up the grindstone. Okay. Bowl master, what's this? A Christ? Okay. name red for painter. Ooh, what a rip. He has a force of vigor. He can blow this thing up though. On one. He can't. He can't even do that. Unless he has a planes. I'll, I'll do this first. He needs to just have swords. Am I playing around something I shouldn't be? He needs to have just swords. I think I, if he has swords, he needs. He, I can't let him untap because he could have force of vigor. I'll just hit him here, I guess. He has swords. Oh, what's this? Oh, he has a besiege. Okay. Let's get that out. Kill him. Not getting any sound guy. Who's is good? Can't rip a painter here. Can you blow that up? He can blow it up, right? Oh, he can't. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Huh. I didn't realize. Unless you have an ember in the deck. I forgot that was three. Might be. Yeah. I mean. Jeez, bro. Lucky. <laughs> I apologize. Listen. No. It's dumb magic. And I feel bad. I, I feel bad. Because I'll make this clear. I know he's a very good player, so. Yeah, you should have blown up Grindstone at some point. Or put counters on your... Or... Counters on on the uh, blast zone at some point. Maybe I don't know. So, <laughs> all right, games. I love you. All right, good luck. Kick this killing it with painter. He's picked up the deck. Whatever deck he picks up, he he kills. Uh, um, kind of like a one up guy. Um, <clears throat> kind of finds you know. And I'll say this too. He's like, I'm on the Discord. I bust a lot of balls and shit. I have a lot of fun. But this guy here, like, <clears throat> finds a lane, doesn't listen to many, he listens to himself, and that's good. Like, uh, finds one ofs, finds certain cards that he likes, and he does well with it. So, whatever works, works. Like, Sabin, like Sabin's Reclamation, you have a uh, good time with that card. In white, Comet, 
Um, he's been playing like you know Doretti's and stuff like that. He's been he he finds a niche. And it's the same with me. I'll find a niche to certain guards I like, and I'll play it, and I'll have a good time with it. So um, I respect guys that. Um, is this, there's so much room for innovation with this deck. You know what I mean? So, bottom bottom line is I get a lot of respect for him, uh, Lomer boy. If you guys know him, and I know he's a really good player, and I get stupid lucky, and I, I think I played okay too. But anyway, good games. It's going to last match. <laughs> stupid. I need a painter. Okay. But I'm not like, oh, like some guys are quiet. They don't say much. They're like, oh, it's like it's word up. You know what I mean? It's like word, word to your mother. Like they drew, they drew, um, they drew like a fury off Red Prison. It's like, you yeah. know, or drew like, I don't know. I've, if I was sitting in a paper, I'd be like, dude, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's magic. It happens. Or is it? Is it just a card game? You tell me. Some guys think it's a lot more than just a card game. But to some of these guys that think it's fucking real real life. It really is. This card, this game, is so crazy. It really is. Think about it. Your deck of cards, like each spell, like each ability does a certain thing, like like correlates to like the way you're casting a spell in your mind, like your libraries, you just think the graveyard, the creatures, everything. It's just the game is so deep. It's it it's actually insane. I'm 42 years old. I'm still playing this game. It's meant meant for kids, but we all know the deal. Um, which I'm a very spiritual person, very like you know not religious, but like magical. I want to say. Um, so like you guys can't tell. Um, so I was attracted to the cards because they spoke to me in a way that was um, kind of correlated with a lot of my thinking. So. I'll be able to play. Try it. A lot of guys who don't, if you don't know what a guy's on, maybe you might want to start with a painter here, but I'll start with a welder. If I had like a Lotus Pell or a Simian Spirit Guide, I would play painter with like a hedge up against like bullshit like Chalice of the Void or like Initiative Guys or whatever it is. You know what I mean? So. Start with a welder. I can get really cute. Start with a pyroblast, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Top deck painter. It's the worst. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a good. We got, we have a good game. Hopefully, if I play well. Uh. So. Seven cards. Um, has one red up. He can daze me if he wants. Yeah, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a uh, dragon engineer. Cruel summer. Now you're gone. Maybe I played it wrong. Who knows? Gets a force of will out of the kid. Would he pitch? A ponder. Would I lose to fucking Chain of Smog? You're kidding me, right? So bad. It's so bad that I don't even feel bad. Looking for a land. Oh, so it's full color. You guys might want to go for lands here. I suggest you don't do it. Underground Sea Thought Seas. I'm fucked. Do not hit lands. He shuffles. I've had games in paper where I've blasted the kids land three times and the kids come back and won. Don't do it. Unless it's like post or something, you know what I mean? Force of will, three cards. Three cards of fossil will. Salt tight list, no beanstalk, he's crying. I'm not gonna talk shit yet, because I might lose. Three cards, four so will. A days, huh? I'll get rid of this because I can't. I get rid of um. 
If another force of will, I would love to see that. You could have a snuff out. These guys have snuff out in their deck too. I should have uh, attacked for one there. I didn't. So four, five, six, seven. Land is Merktide region. So my best draw is Grindstone. My best draw is Urza Saga. Um, he has, it looks like he has. He might have a Bowmaster here, which I'm not gonna burn a Pyroblast and a Bowmaster. So it's not gonna happen. Um, that's why I'm not gonna attack. I refuse to waste a bowman, uh, Pyroblast on a Bowmaster. I think my Welda got it. three cards. Or is the Sagas a good? Don't attack me. Take one. So you have three cards unknown. This gets a round bull master. I have double blast up. Really good. He's going to read it too. This might be worth a force of will target. If he's got it. This card is... I love this card. Oh. These guys are playing Snuff Out now. I don't know if you guys know, but... Fatal push. What a one card. Okay. I have a good mind of blast to see there, but I'm not going to do that. It's a beanstalk. I'll I'll counter a beanstalk. Because the way these hands line up here. Oh, beanstalk, I'm gonna counter this. Means you have to have at least a fatal push here. Or a snuff out. Okay, that's great. That that alleviates some stress. That's a borderline force of a murderous cut. You could have done that in response, right? Hit my painter, or hit this. Why wouldn't you do that in response? Because I couldn't power blast there. So if he had done that in response, or did he have enough cards? He had enough cards, right? Um. He's he's realizing that right now. If 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 I had, I could have got blown the fuck out there. Which naturally they have like great cards in their deck. This deck is sick. This deck, I cry about this deck. This deck is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful magic deck. It really is. And this is something I say it all the time like, I mean, I'm not like a fan of playing like the best deck all the time, but I gravitate more towards, you know, Saltai here. Like I'm blocking and then sack here with the Murktide region. At least he doesn't get to draw a card. He goes to one card here. You got it. So I was gonna I was gonna sack end step here, but I'll just wait to block. And then sack here. Should name black, but I'll name blue. I could draw Pyroblast.
Fox Oko. Thank you. Could work. Could be. Could be good. Oh, you know what I do? Like if I saw you or something, would be cool. Oh, you fucker. Okay, Let's see what I have. Um. Another bull master at one card. Oh, what's this? A Sauron's Ransom? Assuming he has a land in play in hand. There's nothing in his graveyard for his um, Mystic Sanctuary. I might as well just give him the free land, the three lands. I don't give a shit. See what he does. Then he has three lands in his graveyard. Three lands, okay. He has three lands in hand. Two unknowns. I think he has four lands in hand. Give me grindstone, baby. I have two looks at this. Take an eight. I can get a bridge in play and shut the door real quick. Um... Maybe it was a reason to block there, but no, because it's a two turn clock now. Fire Blast. Okay. Couple, couple, uh, couple bombs off of Brea, huh? You know, Mox Opal and Lotus Petal, and a couple lands. Not bad. Hey, I drew nice last game. Can't bitch. Red Blastemus, I'll bring a Magus. I just, I hate bringing a Thorn right now. I just do. Um, and so, we play. Cut this card. Trouble in the bolts. There's a bow master, I'll trim one. I want some fast mana for like a Magus the Moon. Um Fury's good. I can bring in a third copy here, but I just I don't even know if I want to do that. Maybe I could do that. Let's try that game. That's fine. My strength is gonna be Blood Moon and control and board with like a Magus in the Moon, but we'll see. Fucking Hail Mary, baby. Try it. I can't, I can't, mom. For the video, anyway. Let's see what he says. Ooh, it hit him. It hit. It hit. 
We have you can cycle and get a basic island if you need to. Land please. Annihil spell bomb. Land please. I need a land here, and I need to hold up Pyro. I have to hold up Pyroblast here. I have a feeling that um, they play basic basic land. If I draw another land, I'll play Painter. I'm gonna hold up Blast for Hydro Blast for a cycle land. I don't know if the guys are playing land, um, basic mountains yet or not. So if I draw a land, I'll play Painter. I'll play a Painter. I'll start with a Painter. <clears throat> I'll let him force the will it. Go to four cards and not fight back. Um, so if he has just Pyroblast in his hand, <laughs> he can get me. This used to be a game I used to play with Delver guys where it was like they'd bring in Pyroblast, like main deck Pyroblast because there was so much blue. And so still no force the will. I wonder if he boarded it out. He's like, I'll never do that again. Never happen. All right, buddy. Land, please. I'm just going to play it safe here. Especially with a lightning bolt, that stuff here, it's really good. All right, good game. Fucking Hail Mary, babies. You got to go for that. When I see something like that, even in like a serious tournament, uh, I still think I go for that. Um, I don't like Ensnaring Bridge in my deck, but I'm going to keep it in there anyway. Uh, that one Lightning Bolt was for Collector Roof, and I think I like this. I could trim on a... Um, I'm going to keep it this way. I was going to bring in a theory for a Lotus Petal and uh, prioritize Magus later in the game, but oof, what a hand. I wasn't even ready for this. He's going to 6, J6 and son. This is the type of hand where I will actively red blast a blue spell to keep tempo up and to stop him from making land drops, for instance. Um, to use my mana because I'll be tapped out. Any, any land's really good here. Hydro Blast in the mix here. What a rip, dude. I will actively use Pyroblast here. Or I can protect myself. Or like a uh, Magus the Moon. So was, this is the game these guys play. So it's like Beanstalk with Force to Will back up. If he, if, he, if, he, uh, if he goes to Ponder here on his main phase, I'll use my Blast. I'll see how it goes. There's so many ways to go about this. I'm freaking out for no reason. Four cards. Okay. So now I get now it's a game. Um I'll jam a painter here. I mean blue. I was gonna name black, but the problem is when I go to land a Magus, you can force to will something stupid, so this could work against me. I'm just hoping he like has to remove it and step here. Like a fatal push or whatever. Nothing yet, huh? It's kind of scary because um, I have to worry about. I'm going to make him tap out. I'm going to attack into his Bowmaster. And make him tap out. What's the four cards at that point? Yeah, 
They play Wasteland, so Let's see if he gets a Hydro Blast out now. Spell Pierce, okay. You know, I could use Pyro Blast there, Red Blast there. I might just have to, um, ah, oh, there's a Wasteland, it's gonna kill me. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, because that's a problem. That's a mis- that- Rewind a little bit. So, I could have fought that. There's probably a reason to fight that there, because I have two- I have two Magus in my hands. Um, so... <clears throat> That was a mistake with the uh, fable. I think if I had blasted back, that was the issue with wasteland there. I still have to hold up pile last here. It sucks. So he's not doing anything. I know he has like a murderous cut. You know, he's afraid of of blood moon. That's the problem. That's a good draw. Um, I'm going to play this on black, I think. I'll hold back the painter this time. I know I could have fought back with that, but I gotta be cagey here. Which means he has a dead hand, it looks like. Rainstorm? I would hate to see that. Murderous cut? Or was this a beanstalk? You guys see the little microcosm games that are getting going on? For instance, the Wasteland. That's fine. The Wasteland play where I chose not to fight and use mana, like my Pyroblast, is getting me in trouble here. Whereas if I Pyroblasted, I could have had him force the will back or resolve the, um, a fable. So now I'm behind mana, I'm bound up, I'm forced to play a certain way. Um, Whereas I had two Magus of the Moons where I was saving my Pyroblast on that Spell Pierce. I was like, oh, I'm going to save it for my Magus of the Moon. But I have two of them, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm behind mana. It's bad. So just for you guys that, that, are, that are watching that want to learn how to, you know, figure out how to... Oh, you motherfucker. So now a Pyroblast gets a... Um, I have to uh, go for the throw here. Especially, I have two Magus of the Moons here. Um, so, if he goes to Murderous Cut something, let's we'll see how it goes. I can actually force a will. Force a one card. Alright, so he had nothing in his hand this whole time. And I'll pretend like I'm using a Red Blast because I don't want Surgical coming at me. If you have a Daze, oh shit. All right, let's we'll see. Have a hard cast days. Let's or a brainstorm. Oh, he fetched island. Okay.
I'll pyroblast this island. Alright, good game. That's the reason to use pyroblast in the island. Alright, GG's. Um, like I said, you guys, if you're listening, I'm serious. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I, I tend to, I know what I want to do. I know what the right plays are. But sometimes I just get excited. And I don't play correctly like that. But the little, little plays like that will get you in a bind. And a good player will, will streak ahead like that. So, not a bad league. Um, time for a margarita. <laughs> I lost against stupid chain of smog. That was a good game, though. Um, I respect the players. That's good. Um, so that was, yeah, it was a good league. Not bad. All right, guys. Um, I'll make another video this weekend. I think I'll have some time. I hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't joined Discord, join Discord. I kid around a lot. If you guys don't know me, I, I'm laughing. I'm having fun. I kid around. A lot of my humor, a lot of my jokes are stemmed from trying to entice people to become better, better painter players. I'm not... I, I know that all these cards are really good. Chaos, all these cards, all these bombs. You know, Painter is turning into a very mid-range deck, which is fine. But, you guys got to remember, it's Painter. So, you know, when you're trying to... I'm trying to approach the format like, here's my deck, Mono Red. I have a couple of good pivot spots, like Fury, like Urza Saga. But, like, I'm trying to play Painter as a combo deck. And I'm trying to figure out what they're doing, how to play around their cards and play that type of game. I'm not looking for certain cards to do the work for me, per se. That's a fine way to play. You know, but I'm trying to encourage thinking that is like, how do I, you know, it's like shortcake. It's like, you know, how does a guy like Jack just kill it with shortcake all the time? Because he knows the format. And I respect guys that play that way. I respect everything. I'm just saying when I joke around about, you know, okay, Oz Defiler or whatever it is, um, you know, is Karn still good? Stuff like that. It's because it's coming from a place of love and also trying to get you guys to think of Painter as a good Painter combo deck. And when you have to pivot, pivot. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with having a mid-range plan. Some people just see it as a mid-range deck because it's an Ancient Tomb deck. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. But when you call it Painter, and my old school approach, that's why I kind of intertwine everything. Anyway, thumbs up. Hope you guys do well. Love you guys very much. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.